spear should uh, should uh, be uh, very capable of uh, piercing. piercing the wound. So this is what we're going to check next. If you can, uh, just by comparing the geometry, the geometry of these weapons. I mean, you see uh, this uh, impressive difference. We have a riveted and solid uh, ring. Yeah, yeah I every believe other so. Row. That's what it looks like. Because it looks like we have solid here. There's not one riveted. Some solid ones in here. This this bottom row where some is missing. And you said it's around 14th century. I think 14th century. 14th yeah. century male. And this looks a lot like the male I've tested recently. So this is way more durable than you would imagine. Because this looks like it's around 17 gauge. Some of it maybe 19 gauge or something. Or it's could be. Yeah, yeah. But we don't know if it's from the erosion or it was just not that uniform because it was made by hand. Because it would be so difficult to make each ring. But theoretically, this would be a hair weaker than the modern mild steel re re reproductions. If they were the exact same. Um, I would say it's probably on par. Probably. About the same. You know, yeah, yeah. So the testing I did the, with mine would probably be yeah, the same results if I were to paint this. Um, yeah, if this is 14th century, it's probably got some uh, carbon in the in the material, and uh, as long as you're using wire of this gauge, right, you know, it's, it's going to be gauge. it's going to be relatively. Close. It's about identical if you you yeah. held it up next to it. All those uh, martial techniques they don't work really well. So I'm wondering uh, because before I have uh, tested. Uh, chain mail and more or less run through it, so I put my whole body behind it. So I'm wondering what happens if I more or less uh, uh, cast it forward something like this. Yeah? So it's more like a, uh, a pool, what do you call, what do you call this in, uh, when you do billiard? Um, pool cue. Or brick. Yes, the, 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 the stick that you use for billiard. Yeah. yeah, so I was wondering um, what happens if uh, instead of putting my body weight behind it, pushing it forward like this. I mean, uh, Frank, uh, maybe you want to do one of your cast, I uh, cast later on? Yeah, so, and, uh, so, so now I'm going to do the thing, I do quite often. I enjoy it. So, so uh, instead of, uh, so trying to not overcommit in combat, I'm actually not bringing in all my body, but um, I'm bringing this forward and uh, let's see what it does. Yeah? yeah. Let's check my range here. Yeah, was a really bad aim. Sorry. Sorry. Right. You can hear by the sound that it actually did. Straight to the board. Maybe. Let's check how many. Do we hear it in play though? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay with the engine. Yeah. It's had a couple of rings already. Sorry about this. Oh, right here? Yeah. Here. Can I take it out? Take it out, I'm sure. That's the whole point of the test. Is the Just hold the spear for a second. How sharp is it? Is it still getting sharp? Yeah. So by, the, by this sheer sound, you can tell that uh, even though I didn't uh, put, uh, put my body weight behind it, there was a lot of force. And. Uh, Unfortunately, because I'm such a bad shot, I didn't hit the. Uh... Oh, you did the fly. I did? Yes, we can probably examine it. Okay. We just squished it. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I see. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, it's dead. Oh, the clay is, in fact, dead. <laughs> so. We have, uh, we have our, our clay on here, just like blood would be up to this point. So. You then it was stopped by the wood up here. That's where it half. penetrated the wood. Now where my finger is, that's uh, where the spear point, uh, the spearhead is actually uh, clean, because that's uh, when it went into the wooden board. Uh, which means if there, were, if there hadn't been a wooden board, it would have kept going. It would have kept going, right? <laughs> so, and uh, down to about here is uh, the penetration into the clay, yeah? Okay, I'm going to pass around this link. It's quite interesting that um, it's actually not cut through. It's totally deformed and the rivet is missing. So it was the rivet that gave in first. Okay, so...
It went straight through. I made the mistake of sticking my finger back here to feel where the hole was, so it kind of sealed up where you can't see the daylight still. He made it completely deformed, and uh, the rivet is missing. So that actually was torn apart off, maybe cut. So I'm going to end this round so you can have a look at that. Okay. Oh, what about can we find that particular hole to see if we can put a finger through it? Oh, I did. I did. I already stuck my finger through it, and I'm sorry. I started to. Oh, the hole in the thing. Okay, so yeah, this is the this is the hole this is the hole in the in the shirt here. Oh, I'm sorry, it's the middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to. Oh, if I hadn't I mentioned it, you wouldn't know. <laughs> but my index was too you know, too thick for it. So that's the ring finger here. <laughs> okay, with a ring finger. Oh, I come to show. Let him see it. Yeah. Sorry, show okay, so. Don't be bothered. It's the ri it's the ring finger. Ah, <laughs> uh, I know you want to give him a bird. <laughs> okay. So it's quite amazing with only one link missing. How much of a difference it makes? Because you see elsewhere where all the links are still in place, no chance I could put a finger through it. And then, uh, of course, you have to consider that it uh, also pierced this much, um, this many layers of cloth, which were underneath the male shirt. And um, this is really hard stuff to cut. Yeah? Very difficult. Yeah, but... Um, You're better off piercing than cutting. Yeah, but with a, with a sharp spear, apparently no match. So this goes inside? Oh, that's goes first. Okay. And get this in and then I check it. Hopefully I don't hit the same spot. If you just hit the, if you, if you, yeah. <laughs> if you hit the center of the clay, it would be fine because I <laughs> just keep piercing the top. Somehow, oh, this is, I see it's going on. I was supposed to have the metal spike on the top of your hat. Oh, he wants me to pierce it with the metal spike on top of your hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, through the part where the leg is missing. Okay. This has become a little bit blunter now. And, yeah, and the and the and the very uh, the very point maybe rolled a little bit. Do you want to? Uh, I'll swap one out. Yeah. I'm gonna bend the way. I'll swap one out so you have to sharpen it. Okay. Do we have time to sharpen it or not? He's grabbing, He's grabbing a, oh, another okay. spear. I'm thinking of doing a. Uh, yeah. Just putting it straight through. I'm probably not going to do a full slide because I think it's going to be a full slide. It does lose some velocity. Well, you, you do this in the next step. This is enough. Oh, this one's going to be a little bit. This is enough. Okay. 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 Recording it. Yeah, this is kind of uh, using the, uh, a way of using the spear that makes a lot of sense in formation fighting. And um, you do see this kind of uh, overhand board with a shield in, uh, in, in all kinds of depictions from the uh, uh, actually uh, from antiquity to, uh, to modern times because the Zulu they did the same, didn't they? Zulu warriors in Africa? All right. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do an overall sliding technique, is what I call it a lot of times, but it doesn't have to necessarily totally slide. What I'm going to do is I throw it as I'm throwing a jab, but I'm going to let the, the actual weight of the spear do the work. So we'll see if I hit right on, hopefully it will penetrate. <laughs> Sorry, I have to. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Seems like it. Wow, that, oh, that's pretty impressive. Okay, and it did hit the wall, didn't it? Yes. Yeah. That was in the water. I hear the sound of links dropping. Unfortunately, we can't take it totally out. Did I cut any? Oh, yeah. How many rings did I get? Um, looks like three. Yeah, it's a, well, it's, that's at least uh, three links dropping down. That's a pretty big substantial. 
hole. Yeah, can you put your hand uh, in from the inside? And if you step there sideways, they can see it from the other camera too. Oh, oh sure. If I can try to get out of the way. Size limit reached. Yeah. Oh, I ran over my phone. Okay, so um, maybe we're going to have one video. Some of, some of these rings are actually cut. So um, it's not only the rivet that is missing, there's one ring where the rivet is missing, and then there's uh, one that's totally deformed, and it looks like it's cut um, because the rivet is still in place, and then there's a shrapnel of something else that I cannot identify. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. Okay, I'm going to pass these around here. So there's uh, still a pretty big dimple in there. Yeah, I don't know if you can see through it. Yeah, I think we're here out of there, right? Excellent. Oh, there's, there's a, a SIM card I put in there, but I don't know if it's storing stuff to it. That's the problem. Okay. I don't know how to access that. Hmm. I can send you the video from here, too. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You can get mine, too. Should I just wrap this yeah. up, then, okay. or should we do the other Okay, well, uh, do another of those uh, slides from further uh, far. Further far, uh, see if it'll reach it and hit it. Exactly, what it does, right. What we have here is we have a, uh, an impact that looks tremendous to me. but uh, It does, doesn't it? Uh, and it, I think it's because the acceleration. If you speak louder, then the yeah, audience, live audience, can hear oh, okay, it, too. sorry. What we have here is a tremendous thrust, in my opinion, because it looks like the acceleration actually rippled the uh, clay, and it left a dimple that you can see the, uh, you can actually see it. And it looks bigger than the actual spear itself. So I, I know that some of that's the nail that got pushed in there, but uh, a lot of it's just, I think it's a sheer impact. You know, I kind of like if you hit something with a hammer and it separates and keeps moving even after mm. it's been hit. That's what it kind of looks like. Mm. Pretty impressive. Yeah, I, I was surprised it did that much, to be honest. Let's go ahead and see if we can reform it then. Oh, did you show the rings to them? Because I don't know if they saw it. Yeah, we passed around the rings. Oh, oh. actually, because we can do some other stuff. Do you mind if we just pause and set this off on the side? Because we're running like 45 minutes late on this. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, 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 we can do this uh, yeah, yeah. one other time anyway. Okay, so, we'll okay. okay, so um, we do the throw slide uh, later on. And um, so for now, uh, thanks a lot for your attention, people. And um, as usual, for them. Yeah, was it? It was a pleasure to work with you. <laughs> All right, instructors, move stuff off.